Hi, I'm Dana Woodson and welcome to Avenue Update. Habitat for Humanity of Southampton Roads engages the community in building opportunities for qualified families to achieve independence and stability through purchasing an affordable home. Habitat serves all seven geographical entities that comprise Southampton Roads, Chesapeake, Isle of Wight, Norfolk, Portsmouth, Smithfield, Suffolk, and Virginia Beach. And today, the Executive Director for Southampton Roads and the Director of Family Services will join us. But before we talk to our guests, let's take a look at their 2014 year in review. The American dream is one of success, home ownership, college education for one's children, and a secure job to provide these and other goals. We're excited about the house, but something that I realized last night is we're even more excited about what this house has brought into our family. Each and every single one of you have changed our lives. And we just don't know what else to say about it. Every time we lay our kids down at night, every time we play in the backyard with them, every single one of you will be on our minds. In January 2014, we shifted our model from new construction to renovation in response to the subprime mortgage crisis and economic downturn. Under the fearless leadership of our executive director, Dr. Wayne Lavender, we set out an ambitious mission to renovate foreclosed and abandoned properties in distressed neighborhoods across the seven cities and launch the Rebuilding the American Dream initiative. With the donation of nine properties from Bank of America and a $50,000 donation, Habitat kicked off the RAD campaign, which to date has garnered $340,000 in donations from corporations, organizations, and individual donors. Whether they don a hard hat and work gloves or help in one of our restores, our volunteers are responsible for Habitat's growth and success. From faithful and experienced red hats to corporate volunteer groups to recording artists like Philip Phillips and OAR, the support from our volunteers continues to drive Habitat's mission forward. This year, we also worked to rehab properties alongside Congressman Bobby Scott and Leroy Reynolds, NFL linebacker for the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm grateful just to be able to give back. Um, and like I said, these guys are here, these are heroes. I was just falling in line. Throughout the year, Habitat for Humanity of Southampton Roads formed several strategic partnerships and participated in a host of community events to build awareness and solicit new volunteers. And it's been a blast. Habitat also partnered with the Hampton Roads Naval Academy Alumni Association to host the inaugural golf tournament in support of the Habitat for Heroes program. Our initiative established in 2011 that provides affordable housing solutions for veteran and active duty military families. 2014 has been quite a remarkable year for Habitat, full of new initiatives, events, but most importantly, home dedications. This year we witnessed six families invest in their futures and take hold of an integral piece of the American dream, home ownership. After several months of sweat equity hours and financial literacy courses, our partner families now have a safe, secure, and affordable place to call home. We couldn't have done this without the help of our donors, volunteers, and corporate sponsors. With new projects on the horizon, we are counting on your continued support and commitment to offering low-income, hardworking families a hand up. Join us in our efforts to eradicate poverty housing as we look to have an even greater impact on the Southampton Roads community in the coming year. Together, we're rebuilding the American dream.
our house, we really like to maximize family time. That's why our favorite place for family fun is Old Town Portsmouth. We love taking the ferry over, then strolling through unique shops filled with one-of-a-kind treasures. Next, it's on to a great lunch in an outdoor cafe and an afternoon of fun with friends at the Children's Museum of Virginia and the Virginia Sports Hall of Fame and Museum. Food, fun, and adventure? No wonder Old Town Portsmouth is our go-to destination for family fun. NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all working with United Way for a million little reasons. The kids of our communities to ensure their academic success all the way to graduation day. You see, it takes about 12 years to create a graduate, but it takes the same time to create a dropout. And the difference between a kid becoming one or the other could be a professional athlete or it could be you. Studies showed the earlier we get to kids, the better their chances. So become a United Way volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor and make a difference in the life of a child for the life of that child. Give. Advocate. Volunteer. Live United. Join your favorite NFL players. Take the pledge. Go to unitedway.org. Welcome back to Avenue Update, where today we're talking about Habitat for Humanity of Southampton Roads with our guests, Carla Holmes, the Director of Family Services, and Wayne Lavender, the Executive Director. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Nance. Good to be here. Thank you for having us. Tell us about Habitat for Humanity of Southampton Roads. Well, many people know about Habitat. Habitat for Humanity was founded in 1976 by Millard and Linda Fuller. It was founded in America's Georgia, and in 1988 is when the Carters became involved. So the Carters, uh, excuse me, they were involved in 1984. Our affiliate was founded in 1988. It was actually founded here in Portsmouth, where we built our first house. We now encompass the entire Southampton Roads area. We're in our 26th year, and we've built 200 houses in the region in that many, in that many years. We're excited to be here and uh, on TV today with all of your viewers and uh, happy to share more about Habitat. There's myths about Habitat. One of them is that the Carters founded it. Like I just said, that wasn't the case. And the other is that we give houses away. We don't give houses away. We sell our houses to qualified low-income families. We sell them at no interest, and we sell them at reduced mortgages because we have so many volunteers and people donate supplies and things like that. So typically we can put a family into their own house where they buy the house, where they own the house for maybe half as much as they're paying to rent right now. So we think home ownership is a success to, is a key to success in America. It's part of the American dream. Uh, we are all for Habitat and we want to continue our mission and ministry in this region and beyond. Tell us about the rehab model versus the new construction approach. Yeah, the Great Recession, as we all know, hit in 2007, 2008. And hardest hit in the whole time was the, the housing market and the, the housing bubble. And so there were a lot of foreclosures, unfortunately, across our region, across the country. People lost their homes. And these homes then became vacant. Uh, banks acquired them. Cities acquired them. Uh, a house sitting in a neighborhood that was abandoned would have tall grass, might become a place of crime. We established something we call Rebuilding the American Dream. For about a third the price of building new construction, we could take a home that's been abandoned, we could rehab it, put a new roof on it, uh, new flooring, paint, uh, new appliances, new, new uh, cabinets, often new roofs, and put a new family in there for a third the cost of, uh, of new construction. So it's been a good business model for us. We've been able to do this for about 12 houses in the last year and a half and we expect to continue doing as long as there's abandoned houses in these communities. And what it does is helps that whole neighborhood. Uh, the other neighbors will get uh, five to 10% increase in their property values because an abandoned house li living next to you, it'll hurt your property value. So it's a win for our families. It's a win for the neighbors. It's a win for the community because we put a new family in there, we'll be paying market-based taxes, again, contributing to the city's success. Carla, tell us how does the home ownership program work? With the home ownership um, program, we have our families to apply, 
and they come through and we look at their credit because like Wayne mentioned, we do not give houses away. So they do need to qualify for a mortgage. We need to see their credit, credit, credit worthiness and that type thing. We also look at their spending habits. We do uh, financial planning with them. We have classes now at least once a month where families who are interested but may not be ready for home ownership, they come once a month and we help them with those tool sets and life skills to become successful. Um, the home ownership program also includes our families having or having to do sweat equity. So what that says is that our families put down a minimum uh, down payment. However, they have to contribute to the building of their home. So their family, their friends, co-workers can support them in home ownership and they have to put in at least 300 to 450 hours worth of sweat equity into building of their home and volunteer hours. Wayne, give us some examples of sweat equity. Yeah, um, the model that the Fullers developed was that uh, low-income families don't have money for down, down payment. And again, we said no interest. Imagine if your viewers you know, have mortgages, they know that they're paying interest. And interest can add anywhere from 25 to 50% of the price of the home. So by taking interest out, we're able to make these homes affordable. But in, in, you know, part of the reason we can do that is because we have families do sweat equity. So they come and have to work at the site between three and 450 hours, depending on the size of their family. And they'll do everything. This is another way for the families to get to know their homes. So they come, they may participate in the framing if it's new built, in the insulation, in the siding, in the sheetrocking, in the paint, in the, the, the roofing, the shingling. And we also work with volunteers. So this becomes a very transformational moment. So if you, if you came to a work site, Dana, and you're working alongside a family, then you get to know their story. You get to see their dreams, their hopes for success. You're working side by side with them. They're getting to know their house. So when it becomes their house, if something breaks, they'll know how to fix it because they've been there. At least they'll know the right process. They'll know what went wrong. So the sweat equity is from begin to end. They're there on the site with us doing all the labor, uh, working Saturdays. Their, their families, their children you know, are helping out, as Carla said. If their children get an A in high school, that counts as an hour of sweat equity because we want their children to be successful as well. So sweat equity is, I mean, literally sweating. Uh, you know, we're out there working today. There's not much sweat today because it's cold. But believe me, when we're working May, June, July, August, we are sweating and going through water. So that's why we call it sweat equity. Well, in addition to the financial benefit, what are other benefits of Habitat home ownership? Well, uh, you know, as fellow... Jeff, uh, Virginian Thomas Jefferson, who talked about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We, we know that, uh, based on studies, that families that own their own homes, their children are more successful. I mean, think about this. If you rent, you don't have the pride. You don't have the ownership. When you own a house, your children are going to do 9% better in math, 7% better in English. They're 30% more likely to graduate from high school. They're 130% more likely to go to college. They have less behavioral issues like teen pregnancy, drug and alcohol abuse, less problems with uh, police. So it's an entire way of raising a whole family, sustainable way of establishing and moving them into the middle class. So people maybe never owned homes before, they've lived in public housing or they've lived in rental apartments for, for years, sometimes generations. By owning their own house, it enables their children to get a, a better head start. And then their children are likely, to, you know, like I said, to graduate high school, to go to college, to become homeowners themselves in the future. So we think uh, this plan that was developed by the Fullers back in the 1970s really helps all segments of, of our society. So Carla, what are the eligibility requirements for the program? Like I said, it's based on income, and they can find out the income guidelines on um, our website, www shrhabitat.org. I always get that confused. <laughs> they can find those income guidelines um, based on the number of uh, individuals within the household uh, and they fall within those income parameters. Uh, again, we look at the credit. Our families apply. They apply with a $15 uh, money order. That money order is used to order their credit report. Once we receive that, we look at their qualifications, we call them in, and we normally do not just send families away. If there is something that we can repair within the next six to 12 months, we try to work with them. 
because, and we just feel like, you know, the financial planning and the credit repair is just something that our families can take or any prospective family can take forward and use it in other avenues and jobs and that type thing. Uh, and once they apply, they come in and we have what we call a family selection committee. And uh, that is comprised of several members throughout the community. Um, and they bring their own expertise. We have lenders um, on that committee. We have someone from uh, retail merchant on that committee. And they take a look at that application as a whole and say what they need to do or if we can go ahead and move them forward to home ownership. So there is a lot of assistance there for that individual. Okay. Now walk us through the Habitat home ownership process. What happens after the family qualifies? Once they qualify, we do have to, them to come in and we talk about the partnership, what it, Habitat for Humanity is going to offer and what we expect from the family, just like with any other home ownership or lending um, opportunity. Um, and then at that time, we talk about how much sweat equity they have to do. Again, we have to look at who in the family can actually come out and work on, uh, work on this site. And they have to be at least 18 years or older to work on this site. But we also can receive report cards from the younger children, and that can go towards sweat equity hours. Um, they also go through VHDA certification. Again, that is a class making sure that they get all the tools that they need. Um, and then we let them know what homes we have available, um, ask them what cities they would like to live in, um, and match them up and move them forward through the mortgage process. Well, how long is the general process from the application to the actual move-in day? We could say uh, from about six months to a year. Would you say that would be? Yeah, right? it, uh, our goal is to never have anybody waiting more than a year. We've, we've had some patient families who've been with us longer than mm -hmm. that. Uh, but six months to a year is, mm -hmm. is our goal. Well, tell us, do you have any success stories that you'd like to share? Well, you know, we just came off the holidays and uh, we got many Christmas cards from families uh, showing pictures of their kids and how they're doing and that's always a wonderful time of year. Another good time of year we enjoy is uh, May and June as we get graduation invitations so we get to come to students who who bought houses for high school graduation, college graduation. I met a woman about a year ago at a uh, Virginia Beach Convention Center. I was there representing Habitat at a Realtors event and this woman came up to me and she said I'm a Habitat homeowner and I looked at her and uh, she said 20 years ago I got my first house it was in Nebraska she said I was a young teen mother she said I had two children I was a single mother <clears throat> struggling and not sure what happened she said I got my own house the mortgage payments were so low she said it enabled me to get on my feet I went back to school I got a realtor license began uh, selling houses now I'm a realtor here in Virginia Beach and I'm doing wonderfully well. And I looked at her and she was a clearly success story, a, a middle class realtor working here in Virginia Beach who we don't know what would have happened to her if she hadn't got her Habitat house 20 years ago. So it not only makes a difference for people now, but long term. And her kids, she told me her kids had gone to college. So that's the success story. That's what Habitat's all about, changing lives. So you're now accepting applications for home ownership. How can a person apply? Uh, yes, we are accepting applications for home ownership. And right now we have a major push on applications and we are trying to, uh, we have an application deadline right now of March 1st. But that is uh, something that may change. So please uh, apply. You can come into the office. Our office is 900 Tidewater Drive, Norfolk, Virginia. And also you can apply online and you can uh, pull an application off. And again, with a $15 um, application fee that covers the credit report. Um, and also you can always call us at 757-640-0590 extension 208. And um, we welcome applications all the time. So do you have homes that are already available? Yes, we do. We have one here in Portsmouth on Johnson Avenue, um, and then we have a home in Norfolk on Huff Avenue. Uh, and also, I believe we have Kay in Chesapeake. So we're covering three or four cities right now. Okay. Yes, we do. So for these homes that are already available, how do you handle sweat equity? Uh, we've got some homes right now, like we're saying, that are already ready. 
uh, and some that are very close to being finished. Uh, this is the biggest surprise I've had is that we've got homes without homeowners. So I think once this is shown in Portsmouth, we're going to be deluged with applicants. People need to understand this is a like winning the lottery. Uh, if we choose a family and put them in some of these homes that are done or almost done, then we will do sweat equity as part of their agreement moving forward. So even though they move in, we're going to want them to work on other homes and put in their sweat equity that way. Well, Wayne, tell us about your programs for veterans and for active duty military families. Well, you know, we're, we're living here right in the middle of this uh, huge Navy base, and there's a large veteran community, of course, in Southampton Roads. So we've made the commitment that 25% or more of our houses moving forward would go to veterans. We want to serve those who served our country. We want to make the people who've, who fought for, to protect the American dream be able to be part of the American dream. So at least 25% of all of our homes will go to veterans. And we call that our Habitat for Heroes program. So we're looking for veterans right now actively on the houses that Carla just mentioned, a house here in Portsmouth on Johnson, house in Norfolk on um, Huff, a house in Chesapeake, and we actually have a couple places in Virginia Beach that are coming online also. So if you're a veteran and you're earning in, you know, somewhere between thirty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000, go online, check our sweet spot. Uh, maybe you served for six years in the Navy, maybe you're working in the shipyards now, you're a welder, uh, maybe you're a bus driver, you're a teacher, you're a social worker. If you fall in our income range, you're the people we want to work with. I mean, sometimes people still think Habitat is for unemployed people, people living on the streets. No, we're looking for hardworking, uh, low-income families. These people, the people I'm talking to out there, you wouldn't be able to get a mortgage at a traditional bank because you don't earn enough. But from Habitat, we can put you in your own home based on the things we said with no interest because we keep the mortgage price down. We're looking for you type of people, especially veterans, that we can put in your homes uh, very quickly in some cases. So for our listeners who may not be interested in home ownership, but may be interested in volunteering or donating, how do they get involved? Well, the best way is to go to our website. Uh, our website has uh, a button that says, you know, click here to become a homeowner. That's where you can find the application. There's also a button that says click here if you want to volunteer on a website or on a work site. So click there and you sort of follow the steps and you'll get to our volunteer manager who will line you up on, on a work day. We look for team builds. So if you work in an office and you've got 10 or 15 people you want to come to a site, you can communicate with us and we'll get you on a site as a team. There's also a button for donate now. Um, we are still a volunteer based organization always looking for donations, so all of those are on our website. And the easiest way to find our website is just, just go to Google and Google Habitat Norfolk and it'll come to us. But we are Southampton Road, so shrhabitat.org. Easy to find. Well, Carla or Wayne, do either of you have anything else that you'd like to add? I would like to add, um, again, uh, we are accepting applications. Um, the application is not very cumbersome. If you had, need any questions or need any help navigating through the application, please don't hesitate to give us a call. We will be more than happy to help you. We want to help you become a homeowner. Everyone knows about Habitat. Habitat is a well-known brand across our country. But we're building right here. That's what people don't know. We're, we've got homes in Portsmouth. Norfolk, Virginia Beach, Suffolk, uh, Isla White, Chesapeake, we're right here in your backyard. So come, and, come out and work with us. Uh, we're looking forward to partnering with you and other people. Well, thank you both for joining us today to talk about Habitat for Humanity of Southampton Roads. And for those of you who like more information, please visit their website or give them a call. For PCTV, I'm Dana Woodson.